What's going on guys? So for those of you who are wondering A where I'm at and B how to get there, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to this area right here known as Murk Water Cave, right? So you can get there from the gate lake north. If you don't have the gate lake north, you can get it from the gate front. Um if you don't have that you can just follow my path. I'll start from the very beginning of uh, the game. And this is going to be one of the kind of areas where you can A, get this weapon right here, the Reduvia. And B, you can get the Fail, which does blood damage. The Fail is going to come in handy um, for whenever you want to go and get the Smithing Stones. Um, and you want to essentially um, level up any of your items using what's called the uh, Mythin Bell. So you can get, you know, like this one, the Heavy Longsword plus four. Um, that's how you can get some of the Smithin Stones to do that. You can also get this weapon, the Lord Sword's Great Sword. And yeah. So what we're going to want to do is from the starting area. You're going to want to get on your horse if you don't already have it. Um, all you have to do is just rest at the three grace sites. Um, and it's kind of easy. Ignore this dude. I don't know why everyone wants to fight him, to be honest with you. You can if you want to. Come over here, over here, come through here. You're going to want to rest at this one. Talk to what everyone's calling Santa. I just call it Fisherman Santa because of the pole looking thing. Anyways, follow this the little light that's taking you to where you want to go, which is going to be over here. So you're just going to want to come down here, fight or kill or, or uh, run, whichever one. Again, fight or run. Come down here. Again, fight or run. Doesn't really matter. Come around here. Go to this bonfire. Rest at said bonfire and you'll get your horse. Now that you have your horse, you can come over to here. Open this chest up and that's where you'll get the uh, this weapon right here. Which is the great, the Lord Sworn's Great Sword. Come around here. Uh, I personally just like to come in here. Open this one up. And when you open that one up, you'll get this weapon right here, the, the fail. Go up a little bit. And you'll get this bonfire right here, which is going to be where we're going to start uh the route is going to be known as however the hell you pronounce that word uh lake north and we're going to head over here to the murk water cave to get to the murk water cave you're just going to follow this path right here kind of come off to the side you're going to wrap around this lake shore right here just like so Keep coming down, keep coming down. And just, you know, keep laughing around, keep doing your thing. Once you do all that, you're gonna come under this bridge. Ignore these people. Or fight them. If you do choose to fight them, just remember when they come, they'll come back to life. So with water on the ground, just beat them to a pulp. Come over here. You'll eventually get to a point over here where you'll get invaded. When you do get invaded, you won't have a horse. So you'll be like this, right? Without a horse. You're just going to want to run to about, I would say, probably, I'm going to do this on a horse just for simplicity sake. It's probably around this area or close to this area. You'll have a summon that will help you fight them. Uh, you know, just let the summon do a thing, take pot shots when able. When done, this gate will kind of like unlock. 
or this wall with this mist whatever the hell you want to call it it will unlock you want to come through here rest at this bonfire right here keep going through here if you have a lantern or a torch activated i'm not going to because i've already clearly been here come in here go ahead and put the right Keep coming through here and you'll end up over here this guy right here obviously won't be here but you're gonna want to open just this chest right and then talk to him so uh, well when you fight him don't kill him obviously when he said mercy just give him mercy uh, he'll have an option that says you know let bygones be bygones you're gonna go ahead and just say forget and forget when you do that go ahead and Rather than just re uh, leaving, just reload the area. Passage will be sitting here like you just saw earlier. And just completely ignore this. You will see this. Ignore it. It doesn't exist. Just bad things happen. Um, if you want the spoiler, basically you open this, mist comes out, and you'll be taken away to another land. So just ignore it. This, 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 this doesn't do anything. So you want to come over to hit this guy, Purses, you want to buy the shackle. Um, I don't have 5,000 gold, but basically buy this shackle, and for those of you who are stuck trying to get 5,000 gold, just get this. This is going to help you get more souls, so for those of you guys who want to kind of semi-power level or whatever, just go to whatever farm suits you, um, get 5,000 souls buy this item right here and what this item will do is this item will do exactly like it says it'll bound margaret to the ground so what what does that mean you know very vague essentially what that means is you can literally spam the ever living shit out of this and margaret will just be on the ground he'll literally just be bonded to the ground um and with that you can kind of cheese your way through the first boss and on top of you know if you have summons you can also use that as well um if you want to know which summons to use you want to go ahead and just use the jellyfish and why the jellyfish you may ask well margaret is weak to um poison sorry it took me a minute to figure out what it does and with those two things um you should be able to defeat margaret very easily if you are still stuck on him um, after that, we will show the past on how to get, uh, Godfrey. I hope this video was helpful, and as always, like, comment, subscribe. Later.